So here we are. This is the bike. This <laughs> is my mid-drive kit. We got the battery. Other interesting stuff in here. First thing to be done is to get out that bike from there. First thing I did, I inserted the motor here and applied the chain ring. I started using those little screws to firmly attach the chain ring to the motor. Don't be mad if you think that you don't add those screws because actually you add it. You have both a big one and a small one. So use the small one for the chain ring and the big one for later. Now we have turned the bike on the left side. The motor will be raised in this position. To secure it in this position we are gonna need this piece. The important thing is that we have some teeth and those teeth are gonna bite on the frame. So they're gonna be this way, against the frame. Just put the screws in here and you secure the motor. Once you have fixed the motor upside, you want to secure this part with this piece, with those squared holes inside. Then on top of it, that is this part that has this uh, string on it there is also an arrow so let you understand that it's gonna be more this way probably you want to use some hard glue allow this part before uh, putting it on just to be more strongly secured after that cranks consider you have not only the side, but even a uh, narrow that specified the way this should go. Mm -hmm. The other one should be mounted exactly on the opposite position. That's what I mean by opposite. Here we are again. We left one week ago and I had a problem with the battery because I don't know why this thing here, that should be 13, yes, that it is, it's 13 ampere hour, for some reason does not irrigate at all, even if it's fully charged, so I think it's failed somehow, but anyway, I don't care, because now I bought another battery, this guy here, that is 15.6 ampere hour, I made some tests, but you're gonna see the result after, uh, at the end of all the operations. What I did is just put this cover here. At this height, you got five screws that you have to screw from the other side. It's basically very simple. I did some cable management. There you go, so you can see anything. Here, I already installed this thing, the speed sensor. I zip tied everything because zip tied are your best friends here too. I tried to handle those cables to the center of the motor in the way that does not troubles me when I pedal. This cable, computer cable, goes to the front. I managed to uh, fix it on the right side and the battery on the left side. Actually, you can reverse. There's no actual rule to follow, but I found that for me works pretty well. Also, this is the cable for the gear shifting that I will not use for now, but we never know, actually. I would in the future, so I zip tied from the bottom center to get outside of here. These are uh, wires for the front light that for now I don't have, but maybe in the future I could put it. 
I just isolate them and zip tied in here. The wires for the computer and the idea is that we will let this pass to the front by the upper bar. To do so, I will let this thing pass by here. When I will zip tire, it will be a stretched in a way that I could handle the bike without mess with the cables. After that, I'm going to mount everything on the handlebar. Let's do this. If you were wondering how to remove the brake lever, first release the brake. This way you have a lot of cable to play with here. Okay, and as you see, this will pop up. You just put it up, and then you should be able to. Remove it. That's it. Hi guys! It took me a little bit to finish this, but at the end I managed it. I also found on eBay this pretty nice light that is directly connected to the battery, does not pass through the motor at all, and uh, you can light it up. It comes with these buttons and has also a pretty nice horn embedded on it with a pretty effective sound. Stay tuned because as soon as this virus nightmare comes to an end. Uh, we post some test drive on this bike, as well as some comparison between this Bafang mid-drive kit and the Tongsheng mid-drive kit that I've already reviewed and tested on this video, so go check it out. 
get subscribed and uh, if you liked this video please hit the thumb up button and that's it we'll see you on the next one